Let's get out of here. All right. Come on, operator. Operator, hurry up. Get me that number. Dirk talking. Listen, Dirk. If you're holding the Moore girl prisoner, get away with her at once. I've just discovered that old man Hood has a carload of policemen hot on your trail. Take the girl to Wilson's cabin. Yeah, but we lost the girl. We'll get it away from here quick and we'll meet you at the Red Lantern. This leader said the cops are coming. We gotta scram. Come on. Let's rest here. All right. Oh. Come on, Daddy. I'll go back up that house and get our car. Oh, no, Bob. Don't do that. Those crooks will get you. Look around here someplace and find a house with a telephone and call Dad and tell him to send a car down for us. All right. Well, we've got to get Betty out of here in a hurry before those crooks come to life and... I know it, but hurry. Please. Come on, Betty. They're down by the lake. Betty's car was wrecked. We've got to get into town at once, Mr. Hood. All right, get on the running board and show us the way. All right, driver. It's Bob with the car, Betty. And Dad's with him. Come on, kid. Yeah. Watch your dad, Tom. Good. Oh, Tom! Tom, oh, what the heck? Kate told me that. You boys came up here to rescue uh, Betty from the crooks. We yes. did, Dad, and we almost captured them. All right, where are they? They have a hideout in an old house up there on the cliff. Good. We'll go up and get them. Come on, Sergeant. We'll handle this situation, Mr. Hood. All right, take them to the city and return as quickly as you can. Thanks, Sergeant. But watch your step. Those crooks are killers. And, Sergeant, bring our car in. It's parked up behind their hideout. All right, Tom. Come on, Betty. Come on, right. children. Come on, get Betty. Get in the car as quick as you can. Hey, girl. Get in there. Come on, Betty. Step right up here. Fine bunch of dumbbells we are. Further use of our trying to stop young Hood. He's smarter than we are. Say, Chief, why don't you let me? The car's just bundle it the same as you did everything else. Now listen. The police are hot on our trail. Well, they won't get me. They won't get any of us if you do as I say. Well, go ahead. Tell us. I'm having a shipment of the lost special gold sent up to Wilson's cabin in Big Pine. Professor Wilson tells me he's discovered a new process. Good morning. You're early. Yes, uh, when do you expect Father down? Why, he should be down any moment now, Mr. Hood. Well, all right. We'll wait. All right. Uh, Don't you think we'd better go? Tell your father later. No. That's Slater's phone. I guess he hasn't come down yet either. Well, we ought to be able to handle business in this office. What's the matter with my answering that phone? Might be urgent. Well, if it's urgent, just be... You're not the guy to answer. I'll answer the phone. Is that so? Say, Big Business is my middle name. Just watch me. The great Samuel Slater. <laughs> Hello. Slater speaking. Slater. 
I can't transfer that stuff to Wilson's cabin in Big Pine Canyon until Saturday. Why not, Glenn? Because they're working on the road. The big tunnel is closed. Can't get a car through. Where are you now? At the mine. Professor Wilson just phoned that he wanted me to bring a demi of muriatic acid when I brought the stuff. All right, Flynn. I'll phone you this afternoon. Boy, this is good. What's so good? That message. It was from Flynn at the mine to Slater. Well, as Slater happens to be Dad's partner, why shouldn't the mine phone him? Yeah, but listen, this message was about transferring some stuff to Professor Wilson's cabin in Big Pine Canyon. Oh. Professor Wilson is the chemist down at the Carnstock building. Right. Say, this is a hot clue. We better get going that cabin right now. We're practically there. Come on. Oh, no. Wait a minute. I almost forgot my promise to Dad. We'll have to wait right here and let him know where we're going. Oh, good morning, boys. Hello, Dad. Good morning, Mr. Hearn. How are you this morning? Well, I'm pretty good. Kind of late and showing up to work, aren't you? Well, we won't go into that. <laughs> Sit down and make yourself at home. Uh, oh, Tom, tell me, what is your next move? You know, you promised me yesterday that you're going to keep me informed from now on. Well, Dad, we've got a hot clue. And we're starting to work on it right away. And that's fine. If it doesn't entail too much danger. Well, uh, where must you go to work on it? Somewhere up in Big Pine Canyon. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Slater. Good morning. Good morning, Slater. Anything new? No, Mr. Slater. Nothing of any importance. Well, you boys just keep up your good work. Be sure that you didn't cover something soon with you boys and the whole police force on the job. Tom, why didn't you tell Slater about your red-hot clue? Because no one is to know about it but you, Dad. Not even the girls. Very well. But where is this place? It's at Professor Wilson's cabin. And it's located somewhere on the other side of the tunnel, on Big Pine Canyon Road. Oh. Uh, now, Dad, if Betty calls, don't you tell her where we've gone. All right, Tom, I won't. But you boys be careful, because I'd rather lose all the gold in the Galconda than have anything happen to you. Well, don't you worry. Nothing's going to happen to us. Well, see that it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, Mr. Hood. Goodbye, Bob. So long, Dad. Goodbye, Tom. Oh, Dirk, get your men quick. Rush out to Wilson's and head off Tom Hood and young Collins. Don't let them reach Wilson's cabin unless you carry them there as prisoners. Get the boys, Spike. All right, Chief. How do you know they're going out there? Never mind how I know. Young Hood and Collins are on their way out to Wilson's now. Here's your chance to get them. All right, Slater. I'll phone you as soon as I have them tied up in the cabin. Come on, boys. Mr. Hood. Huh? Oh, yes. Send her in. Good morning, Mr. Hood. Well, good morning, Miss Moore. Glad to see you. Won't you sit down? No, thanks. I expected to see Tom and Bob here. No, they're not here. I must see Tom at once. I'll run back to the apartment. The boys, no doubt, will be there. Uh, wait a minute, Miss Moore. They're not at their apartment. They're out on a hot clue. Where did they go? Please tell me. I'm sorry, Miss Moore, but I can't tell you. Oh, but you must, please. It means so much to my story. I've got to know. It wasn't a bit fair of Tom to go without me. He should have at least told me. Betty, I'll tell you. 
If you'll promise me that you won't try to follow them. This tunnel is supposed to be closed, young man. Closed? Yes, we're widening it, blasting it out. Well, boy, that licks us. What are we going to do, Bob? Oh, well, I'll let you through this time. But you'll find it pretty bumpy. Oh, thanks. Okay. All right, go ahead. Let him through there, boy. But, Mr. Hood, we should go to Wilson's cabin. That hot clue may be just another one of the gang's traps to get them. Betty, I think you're trying to put something over on me. And I promised Tom I wouldn't let you go. But you'd feel mighty bad if you didn't go and something happened to the boys. I said, I think you're right, Betty. I will go. Good. We'll take my car. It's downstairs. Come on. Come on, let's hurry. Bob, back the car over there in those trees and keep it out of sight. We don't want anyone asking any questions. That's a good idea, Tom. Holland hasn't got here yet. And Young Hood is alone. Spike? You and Lefty slip up there and jump hood while we wait here for Collins. And remember, those two birds are not to get away from us this time. Let's look down the road here. Those fellows have something up their sleeve. We got to this time, hood! Collins is not with him. Look! Oh. Step on it, Betty! Quick! Tom, what happened? Nothing yet, Dad. We just got here. These fellows must have been playing for us. They jumped us. Are you all right, Tom? Right. I'm okay. We'll settle with these fellows. Where's your car? Parked up the road. Come on, we'll throw a scare into them and bag the whole bunch. We'll take these men along. There's more of them. Quick, boys, into the car. Take out of it, fellas. Come on, we gotta get them out of here quick and then get away from us. Hurry, man. Into the car. We've got to stop them. Spring that fuse out good now. Oh, I'm gonna straighten that over. I'm gonna get the sand down a little bit. Now. All right, then. Here we go. All right, let's go. Now, is the flagman place at the other end? Everything's okay, boss. Well, let me try this again. Yeah, try it again. That's what happened. She's only the tire. She started, you know. Something's gone wrong with this plane. Get some fuse. Okay. We can't risk with that thing with a dynamite all set. All right, sir. Come on, Ted. Here, Tom. Take this. Put that tire. That'll stop. Oh, 
Lieutenant Blast! 